the orthocenter of a triangle. Now, the orthocenter out of the four um, different ones, the centroid, um, circumcenter, and center, is, in my opinion, the toughest one to learn, to do, to create. Um, the orthocenter deals with the altitudes of a triangle. Now, one thing uh, students find confusing is that they don't realize that a triangle have three different altitudes. So, if we'll know that if I just draw a triangle here, my marker if it's still alive, here we go. The altitude of this triangle is the height of the triangle. So we have the base here connected to its opposite vertices. Again, I'm going to call it A, B, and C again. And the altitude of this triangle is the height of the triangle itself. And it's connecting the opposite vertices uh, vertice to its opposite segment perpendicularly. Okay, right there. Whatever that is. It doesn't deal with any length measurements here. But this here is our height, all right, our height, our altitude of that triangle. Okay. Um, the trick is that all three altitudes of the triangle will meet at one point. That point is called the orthocenter. Okay, so I'm going to kind of find that here. And an easy way to do it, again, it has to be perpendicular. We're connecting a point to a segment. It's got to be perpendicular. And in case of an acute triangle, that orthocenter will be inside the triangle. So we can see it here. Let me uh, try to make it sometimes easier to rotate each base. So a segment CB is my base, perpendicular right here. It's perpendicular line, and again, if I rotate it again, so BA is my base, you can see to point C, they all meet right here. That should be good. that's roughly perpendicular, it's not the best, okay. And at one point, that point of concurrency is what we call the orthocenter. Um, there's nothing really too special about the orthocenter, um, that is that, that all the altitudes will meet at a specific point, and that's called the orthocenter. And with an acute triangle, it's always inside the triangle. But one thing I find interesting, all right, if I'm going to erase this here, is with a right triangle, that orthocenter will always be at a specific point on the triangle. So I'm going to create a right triangle here. Okay, right triangle here. And let's go find the three altitudes of this triangle. I'm not going to label the points. I think you can see that there. So if this is my base here, base segment here. The altitude, the height of the triangle, the vertice connected to its opposite segment, opposite side, perpendicularly, is just going along the segment here. And there's the altitude itself. And I can, I mean, I can continue this forever if you want. You can draw them so they go on forever. If I rotate this triangle, all right, again, now here's my base. This is the altitude from the, op the vertice to its opposite side. And again, it goes along this path. All right, I can continue the line forever if I want. All right, so long as past, it's meeting so far right here. And last but not least, we keep rotating. We have, this is our base now, connected to the opposite vertice perpendicularly. And we have our orthocenter and the, our, our, um, our altitude of this triangle here. It makes it perpendicular, all right? Perpendicular, I'm just drawing here before, I guess I could have drawn down there. If you notice, they all meet at this one specific point. So with a right triangle, the orthocenter will always, always, always be at the corner of the right angle of the right triangle itself. Now, lastly, is with an obtuse triangle. And this is the, the one that students always have a hard time with. A, a obtuse triangle. Now, I'm not going to make my triangle super obtuse because the more obtuse you make your triangle, the farther away that orthocenter will be. So I'm going to try to make it down here. Okay. So I'm going to draw my right triangle, hopefully I can pull this off here. Oh, that right triangle too, so my land. So again, hopefully it's not too obtuse. I might have to make my lines a little curved so they meet. And so we have an obtuse triangle here. Um, and it, it's just, just a little bit over the right angle here. We can see that's bigger than a right angle. Um, to properly do it, you'd measure it, but let me First, now make my altitude. So I'm going to draw my altitude here from this base. I see a vertice to its opposite side. Uh, it's perpendicularly drawing it through like this, dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to connect this all the way up here. I'm hoping. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, hopefully by there I can get it. Okay. Now, what's tricky, I'm just going to rotate now my triangle. So I'm rotating, rotating, rotating to get another vertice up. Got it. Okay. But if I look here, this segment itself. If I, I won't be able to connect this vertice to that segment perpendicularly. So we can extend this base. So I'm going to do that in a um, darker blue. Okay, so um, actually, let's do it in a little bit green. Um, so I'm going to extend this base here. So now this isn't part of the triangle itself, but it's a theoretical 
line, if you will, that goes across, okay? It's an extension of this base. It's containing that segment. And now I can connect this vertice right here to the extension of base perpendicularly. So I'm going, going, going. We have perpendicular here, and I'm gonna do my dotted line now. As such. Okay, so it's connected again perpendicularly. Well, we have three sides of a triangle. Let's do it one more. So let's find the one side that's not connected. The vertices is not there. So if I rotate a little more, we see now we have this base here. Okay, this base. Again, when I'm drawing my perpendicular line from the opposite vertice, it's going to miss it. So I'm going to extend this base. Extend it so I have the ability to draw my perpendicular line through my vertice, okay, perpendicular, and if I continue this, I don't have to curve my line too much, so it fits. We see they all meet at one specific point right here, so if I rotate the triangle back all the way around, that point here is the orthocenter of the triangle, okay? Um, that's where all the altitudes of the triangle meet, right there. It's the orthocenter, I guess vice versa that way. Okay, and it's that point of concurrency of the three altitudes of the triangle itself. Okay, and the only thing really special about it again is that the three altitudes of the triangle will always meet at one specific point, and that point is called the orthocenter. If you've gone through all four of my videos uh, so far on the centroid, in center, circumcenter, orthocenter of a triangle, I suggest maybe you look up what the line of Euler is. Thank you for watching and have a good day.